The Sussexes are venturing into the real estate market, but they've run into resistance since Ellen DeGeneres won't give up her estate. The former talk show presenter Ellen DeGeneres, who is well known for her several real estate deals in Montecito, California, has officially put her 11,530-square-foot house up for sale. She only purchased this magnificent mansion in June of last year, and it costs $46.5 million, more than twice as much as the $22.5 million she and her hubby spent at the outset. This magnificent property, spanning eight acres, is considered one of the most prestigious in Montecito, boasting a rich historical background. It comprises six distinct quarters, including the main house, two guest houses, a pool house, an art studio, and a staff office. The estate, constructed in 1919, offers breathtaking views of the Pacific Ocean and the surrounding mountains. Additional amenities on this vast property include a wine cellar, a pool, a tennis court, private gardens, and a Chardonnay vineyard. Despite being 65 and taking a break from the television spotlight, Ellen has been busy expanding her real estate portfolio, especially in her Montecito neighborhood. Her efforts in restoring these beautiful Montecito homes have yielded remarkable results, as evidenced by the renovation photos. It appears that Megan and Harry reached out to Ellen expressing their interest in purchasing her mansion, albeit with a mortgage. However, their intention wasn't to make it their residence but rather to venture into real estate brokerage. They aim to acquire the mansion and sell it at a price higher than the $46.5 million Ellen was asking for. Regrettably for the Sussexes, Ellen didn't agree to the deal, seemingly because it wouldn't be wise to sell to someone in financial trouble. Ellen, known for her real estate acumen, has been accumulating wealth through her property dealings and her collaborations with real estate owners. In contrast, Megan and Harry are perceived as less affluent compared to the A-list neighbors in Montecito. Even if the couple earns substantial sums from their deals with Netflix, Spotify, and their memoir, they appear less financially influential than the celebrities they seek to associate with. Furthermore, the source of their disapproval seems rooted in the belief that Meghan and Harry expected their presence in the Montecito community would lead to interactions with famous individuals and result in numerous job offers. However, it appears that their notoriety and the controversies surrounding their activities have led to their unpopularity in the United States. In the eyes of many, their financial ventures seem out of reach and disconnected from their former royal life. In summary, while the Sussexes may have aspired to establish themselves in this elite community, they've faced resistance and skepticism from both the celebrity inhabitants and the public, who value their privacy and see Meghan and Harry as seeking fame and wealth on their own terms. The general sentiment appears to be a desire for the couple to maintain a low profile and put an end to the controversies that have surrounded them.